Hello everyone, my name is Michael SK and welcome back to Grisaya Phantom Triggers. So last time we started the game up, there was a lot that happened. I feel like I could not do a good job summing up what happened because I don't exactly know what really happened. There was a lot that happened. But near the end, uh, I started narrating for someone who I'm assuming would be, I guess, the protagonist. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know, maybe it's the character that will be following around a teacher, I believe. She's going in for an interview. Uh, near the end of the episode, I got bamboozled because there's a trap. They put a pretty good trap into this game. I wasn't expecting that, but let's continue. Grisaya Phantom Trigger Volume 1. <clears throat> Alright, so. Yeah, exactly where we left off on the, uh, on the trap here. This, this really messed me up, man. This, this hurt. <clears throat> so let's uh let's get back into it the beautiful young lady is actually a beautiful young man great way to describe it you probably have no idea what i'm on about i'm not sure i get it myself it's not that odd for kids to look androgynous at this age though and the uniform he's changed into is definitely a boy's wow dude look at this background here doesn't it remind you of something I don't know what it could remind you of. That's all I'm asking, you know? Just nice looking background. <clears throat> so Haruto is uh, this this man's name, this gentleman's name, this male's name. Just gotta get that clear that this is not a female character. Even so, the face and the hair and everything else kind of just resembles a girl, but whatever. The students here are 80% female. 80%? Hmm, with that in mind, it's pretty much inevitable that people will make that mistake. My hair is long and annoying, and it refuses to dry properly when I get it wet too. I'd been thinking about cutting it, but I couldn't get permission for that. And that's the question I was going to ask, but I guess our protagonist here was able to step in. Well, it's not as though the school has rules against it. Well, then, let's start with the toilets. Wait, what? Why the toilets all of a sudden? Oh, that's right, we're getting a tour. <clears throat> it's a pain to ask when you actually need to go, right? <laughs> Having said that, there are a total of 12 toilets, four on each floor on the main schoolhouse, so I doubt I need to show you where they all are. Do you have anywhere you'd like to go? <laughs> I see. And then how about we just walk around for a bit? Wow, <laughs> getting a nice view of this man, this this male character, this obvious gentleman, this sir. Haruto, Haruto-kun, was it? For some reason, I don't feel like we're on the same page. He's in uniform, so he must be a student. But what on earth was he doing alone with the principal during lesson hours? Could it be that he's special in some way? Hmm. Turn left on that path there to get to the courtyard. If you go right from there, you'll see the Rose Garden. Yeah, the school's former principal was really fond of roses. Though apparently she never got to see the garden in its finished state. Do you want to go see him? He said he was taking me on a tour of the school, so why bring up the Rose Garden? Usually, you'd start by introducing all the places that are most relevant to the post, like the staff room. Oh, right! While each member of staff has their own office, there isn't a staff room or anything like that here. What's the matter? <laughs> you weren't interested in the Rose Garden. Or rather, you were just looking down at your feet the whole time. Which means that you're concerned about the job, first and foremost. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, if I came to a place like this, you know, ready for an interview, getting myself, you know, mentally prepared to get there, to find out that I'm early and then I have to go on a tour, the entire time I'm gonna be thinking about that interview that I was mentally preparing myself for, but now I have to wait even longer. You're new to this place, and there's kind of a strange vibe here, right? It's not hard to guess. 
He's right. This is supposed to be an academy, but the atmosphere here is nothing like that of your average educational institution. I mean, it doesn't look like an average uh, educational institution, but that's just me. This is a fictional J Japanese world, or a location in a fictional Japan. Let's go with that. I can't quite put my finger on it, though. Thing is, is that this has the, the name of Mihama Academy, so... There's a connection to the previous Grisaya games right there, but what is the connection? This obviously is not the Mihama Academy that we know uh, Mihama Academy to be. If I had to point to something, I'd note that there's none of the chaos you'd expect of a school. None of the laxness that comes of a rabble of hormonal students congregating together. The fact that there isn't any litter anywhere isn't too unusual, I guess. But what's really unnerving is the absence of any sign that students have even set foot here. If you enter the home of a young family, you tend to notice some evidence that children have been there the moment you walk in. I feel none of that here. I mean, he's wearing some sort of uniform, so... Pretty much, though I do get special treatment. Pretty much? What does he mean by that? The less at ease I feel about my surroundings, the less sure I am of the person standing in front of me. His appearance doesn't give me the slightest clue as to what kind of person he is. And I feel like he's locked onto that apprehension of mine. Like he's seen right through me. Haha. <laughs> My classmates often tell me I'm a total asshole. My anxiety's been piling up gradually, like layers and layers of dust. But he blows it all away with that one line. Should I take that to mean he's kind or cunning? That inability to read him properly is what was really bothering me. But perhaps we are on the same page after all. It could just be that our minds operate at different speeds. How did you hear about Mihama Academy? Arisaka-san? Sorry, I'm still getting used to names. そうですね。就職を希望しておきながら、実のところ、パンフレットで得られる以上の情報は知りません。学園法人ミハマ学園、幼少中高一貫の学園システムで、一度入学すれば、ただし、入学には一定条件を満たさなければならず、条件を満たしていたとしても、学園関係者による複数の紹介や推薦がなければ入学が認められない、とか。Sounds really uptight. Haha, <laughs> we sound like a bunch of fat cat loan sharks, don't we? どちらかといえば、秘密結社のような… Hmm… Oh, you're actually onto something there. S I'm just trying to decide how much to tell you, since you haven't officially been hired yet. But you're right about that much, Arisaka-san. There are currently 148 students enrolled in Mihama Academy. Thank God, it's a different amount than a single-digit number. Front wing, you're doing something right here to this masterpiece of a franchise. I hope I didn't offend anyone there. I'm just really happy that they're actually giving us a number that is a little bit more believable than just six students. That's what really bothered me in the other Grisaya games. I mean, that's what made it work, but having a more regular amount of students makes a lot more sense, in my opinion. So, excuse me here, guys. But cool, 148. That slight chill you feel walking these school grounds also has to do with the disparity between the size of the place and the actual student population. We do work hard to run it like a normal school, but no matter how hard we try, some abnormalities are always going to peek through. <laughs> That's a tough one. It might be quicker for me to list off all our similarities to a normal school instead. Well, how about dissections, for instance? We normally use frogs or pigs, but about twice a year we get to dissect corpses in class. What the fuck? <laughs> what? You don't often hear about that happening at other schools, do you? No! Not really! <laughs> 
どういう学校なんですか Obviously not a normal school. Or a bit, spe bit special, you fucker. In fact, what do you think of when you hear the word special? So, this is a special word. Ooh. Na I didn't think you'd come out with special ops, Arisaka san. <laughs> But that's what we are. Most of the kids who graduate from here will probably find jobs in Ichigaya or Akasaka. Well, there's something that sounds a little familiar. Ichigaya, Akasaka? Yeah. Now, where was I? Oh, right. Arisaka-san, do you know of an organization? Do you know of an organization called SIRS? Well, at least I've been pronouncing it correctly and not C I R S. Maybe you're familiar with us as the third arm of the law. You know, we get mentioned on the news whenever there's a hijacking or, or a hijacking incident or something. Hmm, we're funded separately from the other special assault teams, and our parent organization is different too. But I doubt most civilians take note of that sort of thing. To put it simply, we carry out jobs that neither the police nor the self-defense force can do. And they don't have any complaints about that arrangement. Besides, since the Satouchi Sea Jack incident, the SAT and the SDF have been instructed never to open fire under any circumstances even to this day. In fact, Japan is one of the few countries that often manages to return from battle without having fired a single shot. That's amazing enough in itself, but we can't be that lucky all the time. At least, not without someone else pulling the strings. The organization they called when they wanted someone snuffed out from the shadows, that was SIRS. We did well to stay out of the spotlight back in the day, but a few years back there was this high-profile case that not even SIRS could, even cover up, could keep covered up. There were news reports at the time of this offshore terrorist incident. Hear about that one? No, it's okay. That's normal. Anyway, a bunch of stuff happened, and eventually they couldn't keep Cerse hidden from the public any longer. So the organizations had to undergo a complete makeover. You could say we're a new group that takes advantage of legal loopholes, the same way that low alcohol beer is intended to escape ex ex what am I saying? Ex excise excise duties? I'm not exactly sure what that word is. That was excess, but I guess it's excise. Oh whatever. The media calls us the third arm of the law because our precise legal status is so ill-defined. I'm sorry guys, whenever I get caught up in a word I can't pronounce, I try so hard to, to understand what the word is and how to pronounce it, but I'm an idiot, so there's really no there's no way around that one. And that's sort of how SIRS underwent a total reform and became a new kind of law enforcement <coughs> a new kind of law enforcement agency. Sorry guys, I'm kind of falling apart here. To make sure that it wasn't just the same operation under a different guise, they had a big reshuffle of the top brass too. With the old management poised to turn against the state after their dismissal, a lot of former SIRS people were given teaching positions at training facilities instead. Basically, Mihama Academy is a drifter's hangout, made by one bunch of shitty grown-ups for another bunch of shitty grown-ups. And, as a former SIRS agent myself, I'm part of that same giant column of shit. Wait, what? Ah, uh, sorry. I shouldn't use vulgar language like that in a lady's presence. Well, I ended up talking about a whole lot of useless crap, but if I had to sum up Mihama Academy in just a few words, I'd say we're a school of assassins. And he's just flat out saying it. We're definitely not fighting for justice here, so in that sense, it's the perfect moniker for Mihama. Ask the principal if you want to know more. It's almost time for your interview. Shall we make our way to her office? Hi. This wasn't really much of a tour. It was more of like a lesson of really what happened. 
Even after that long explanation, I don't get what Circe is, to tell the truth. I certainly remember hearing the name a lot of the news, but I never took any special notice of it. Which isn't to say I've been blocking that information out, There's just how the, that's just how the average person tends to view these things. You may have heard of the thing, but you don't really know what kind of organization it is, and you're not too interested in finding out either. It's the same with the self-defense force, for example. Even if most people understand that it's there to protect people and their property in times of emergency, not many people have any clue what it does during peach time, or peace time. <laughs> it's normal to suppose that it simply carries out military training, or something to that effect. His explanation didn't tell me anything, really, and hearing him describe it all in so, in so much detail just made it that much clearer how much I understand, or how little I understand. Even if I don't know much at this point, though, I've clearly found myself in a pretty extraordinary place. Extraordinary is one way to describe this. Alright. <clears throat> Principal Sengoku. I've got Arisaka-san here. Damn, dude. This place also looks a little familiar. I knew she'd do that. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I guess that's what they were talking about just there. I certainly can be, if that's what you'd prefer. I'm pretty sure I've heard this voice actor somewhere before. I swear. Normal? Who are you to decide that? No, after I found out this guy was a guy, everything cute about him just out the window. You have 10 seconds, go put something on. Sorry about that. She often pulls these sorts of pranks when newbies come by. Please don't let it get to you. There's no need to get nervous. Interviewing at a school with that kind of principal. <sighs> how about a, how about you show some remorse then? シャワーを浴びた後、君たちが部屋に来るまでずっとこの格好で待っていた。私の苦労を何だと思っているのかね。Oh, that must have been oh so terrible. At your age, putting any effort into that kind of thing is pretty unseemly. アリサカ君、君から見て、私はいくつぐらいに見えるかね? Uh, well, if I had to decide, maybe like mid 30s. Oh, wow. So maybe she says, like, maybe 35 to 45 or something. Well, I guess this was a fun game. Very confused by the outfit she has on, but I guess at this point it's it's kind of stupid to question anything. And in such bad taste. I just gave her a general overview. None of the details yet. I mean, it sounded like there were a lot of details in that. I was starting to get a little confused, and I sort of was able to connect some things. Sorry, we were checking out the bed in the nurse's office. This is one sly fucker. I wonder where I picked that up. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, it is. Sars, no, Hana, she were. Oh, hi, Gayo, this is a Kikasete, the Kimasta. Ma, don't know you, Nisset, me, Saretano, Kawa, Shiryo, Shimo, Naina. Do, say, I know, Kotoda. So, then, Gomida, not a Kuchita, Nai, Kotoba, or Maji, the Sets, me, Sareta, Kotoda, or. Oh, yeah, he was. Tasho, no, Kotio, Mo, Aronga. So, no, Sets, me, or Hite, Surkimo, Nai, she. おおむね合っている。サーズという組織における非人道的な素性については、ここで働くようになれば嫌でも耳にするようになるだろうし、この場は割愛させてもらうが、要は、この三浜学園というのは、サーズの下請け会社であり、民間の人材育成機関というわけ
度持ち帰って上司と検討とか<笑>上司って誰だいそもそも持ち帰ってどうするダメだ今すぐ決めたまえこの場で。Well, I mean, if she's been rejected like everywhere else, and this is the only place reaching out to her, she doesn't really have much of a choice. There's not much to think about. Like, yeah, it's a heavy decision to make, but there's really no other option. You can't just decline this and look for another job if everyone, like, if everyone else has been declining you, what are you gonna do? You can't just go back onto the job search. <laughs> What the hell? Feed me, please. Decide, decide, decide. What am I deciding again? The job. Yeah, that's right. I need to work. I'm out of money. I don't have much left in my bank account, and about half of it needs to go towards this month's rent. But if money's the issue, can I just get another part time job? Would I even be able to find a part time job that quickly? Would they even hire me? No, I mean, oh, yeah. Kono ko omo shiroi do. Me no naka no guru guru ga ikko oi. I mean, that, that's what I'm seeing. Oh, you're being kind of mean again. Why don't you just give her a bit longer? Harsh. That approach isn't going to wash with young people these days. Oi, oi. What the fuck? YOLO, LOL, and what the fuck? Whoa, what the fuck, bro? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say. I'm gonna say it once here. WTF. I'm going to actually, like, pronounce the words there. Cause that that shit's stupid to say out loud. I guess LOL and YOLO are exceptions. Not really sure about LOL, but whatever. De, Arisaka kun, kimi wa dou suru? Ya, dou shitai? Sore gurai wa jibun de kimerareru daro. Watashi wa. I want a job. I want money. I want the strength to survive on my own. And I want to be allowed to make a life for myself. Hobbies, what the fuck? Tennis, golf, You know, whenever I'm asked, like, what do you do in your free time? I'm just like, uh, uh, and then I run out the window. Monster truck? You can ignore that last one. Shumi ってやつはね、維持継続するのに並々ならぬエネルギーを消費する。一つの趣味に対して瞬間的な熱に浮かされて、いわゆるハマることがあっても、長続きしないですぐに冷めてしまうことも多い。趣味ってのは、他人と分かち合うことで長く燃焼させることができるんだ。要は、どうだすげえだろって言える相手や、なるほど、そういうのもありだなという。自分にはなかった観点や価値観の交換をする相手が必要ってことだ。はあ。何の話かわかんないだろう。でもね、何事でもそうなんだよ。仕事だってそうだ。頑張ってる私を誰もわかってくれないとか、みんな適当で頑張ってるのは私だけなんて状況で働いても長続きなんかしない。同じ場所から同じものを見て、同じ熱量を持って意見を分かち合えることが重要だ。そもそも、仕事や趣味に対しての熱量が違えば
言葉すらも通じないのが普通だ理解してもらえないってのは腹が減ることの次に辛いものだよ I feel like I can somewhat agree with that last part there. ここなら私を理解してもらえるとそうは言わんよもちろん努力は必要だここは保健室で積み木遊びをしてるだけで卒業できるような学校じゃないからね。Ah, damn. Looks like this isn't the school for me. けれど、ここなら言葉は通じるし、君の痛みを理解してくれる人間も多いというだけの話で、無条件に誰もが君に優しくしてくれるってわけじゃない。これまで、君が常識として頭の中心に置いていた物差しが、ここでは通用しないことも多いだろう。どうするかどうなりたいか決めるのは君だ。People typically dislike change. Change is frightening. Without it, though, you just stay the same forever. Like a dog chasing after its own tail, spitting on the spot. That's not a bad thing necessarily. That's life after all. If a bridge looks like it might crumble, You don't have to risk crossing it. You don't always need to choose the most treacherous path. As long as you don't cause other people any trouble, you can get along fine. Still, what if things were to change? If I'm ever going to change the way I live, now is my chance. Failing in life won't kill you. Hey! Yes! では採用だ。Man, this is the easiest interview I've ever heard of. That was fast. Aren't you being a little hasty? I bet Aresaka's son still has no idea what kind of work she'll be doing. そんなもの。これから知ればいいことじゃないか。Hey, man, a mystery is a mystery, and I'm down for those. Aresaka 君、君には A 組を担任してもらおう。Class A, god damn it. あ、はい。A 組何年生ですか A 組には学年はないよ A 組はソードを集めたクラスだからね Sword students? Oh hell yeah dude Get me a cutlass ソードですか青いから説明はされなかったのかね I didn't know how much I was allowed to tell her 気の利かない男だな聞いたら後戻りできないところまで話してしまえば彼女もこんなに悩まなかっただろうに I told you that'd be reckless いいんだよ女って生き物は悩むぐらいなら強引に手をつかまれて引きずられた方がマシなんだ特に有坂君のような性格の子はね At least let her choose her work It's her constitutional right you know 笑わせるな歯に挟まった先以下のごとく法律の隙間に挟まっている我々がどの口で法律を語るというのかあのそれでソードというのは well, at least I'm continuing to pronounce things correctly、um, I think we'll end it here because we are pretty much out of time ah shit that's right escape isn't save or escape doesn't go into a little menu where I can click save Uh, yeah, I guess、um, I'm gonna do things differently here. I'm actually going to utilize all these save files just to see, like, how many episodes we've gone through. Why not? Let's do something a little different. Because before I wasn't doing this. But、uh, I guess here we are.、Um, we're, I think, in the second chapter of the game. There are apparently nine chapters in this volume, and I don't know if that means this is going to be short or not, but we are just a little over an hour invested into the visual novel, so maybe that'll tell you something. But we're not done with the second chapter quite yet. And you can tell how many chapters there are by going into the Steam achievements for this game. There are achievements, and I found out why I got two when I started up the game. One was for starting the game. And another was for selecting English. Apparently, there's also an achievement for selecting Japanese, which I'll probably grab at the end of this playthrough, just so I have all the achievements and I can feel happy about myself. But thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of Grisaya Phantom Trigger, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for some more content, whether it's this or other Grisaya stuff or anything else I do on the channel. It's still early to really tell if this is, you know, 
worthy of being called a Grisaya game or this and that. I don't know. Uh, I, I'm enjoying things so far, but I'm not really sure quite yet if this is Grisaya. Uh, I don't think anyone could really make that choice quite yet. So we'll keep on going. I'm still very interested to see what happens. And I hope you guys are as well. So I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. <laughs>